What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you marquee matchups. I think it's week seven. Um, for doing this set, you get a 25k players pack. Uh, for the Brazil versus Argentina, you also get a 25k pack, and uh, the Nigeria versus Algeria, the same. And then Wales versus Serbia, 2,500 coins, a 7.5k pack. United States versus Mexico, you get a jumbo premium gold pack, which is a 15k. So. We're going to start off with United States versus Mexico. Now, it needs to be 76 rated, a minimum of four leagues, three Mexican players and three United States players. Now, as always, the United States players are going to be going for a premium. So I've tried to go after like low rated bronzes that are probably not going to be as much. Like this guy, 700 coins, not too bad there. Then we've um, got this centre-back horse next to him who um, seems to be getting price fixed like... The problem is with these, as I say every single week, marquee matchups are becoming less and less worth doing because everyone, as soon as they come up, buy all the players to try and make profit. Like, this guy's a 3k bid on this guy and he's silver. Like, it, it's it's just stupid. I mean, how much are the Mexican players? Um, yeah, you can see here, like, personally, just wait until the last day because... It, you're going to have problems like this unless you can snipe. I can't put cheap in the title because it's just not going to be cheap. This team at the minute is probably going to end up costing you about 15000 right now, which is stupid. But uh, anyway, we've got three Mexicans there. So obviously they're sectioned off. They have full chem. Then we have the, the four uh, American players in the centre-back spots, right-back and goalkeeper. Then with left-back, I've went with someone in uh, the second Spanish division, so the La Liga 1-2-3. And uh, for the rest of them, they're just literally cheap La Liga players who um, basically go for discard. Like, this guy, he isn't getting bought for that. Like, yeah, there's... Okay, there's a bit of 800, so he's under 1,000. Uh, Parejo... He's untradeable for me, so that's why I've used him. And then we've got Alisar up top, who, uh, again, I, I can't see him being that much. But I've, I've picked higher-rated players to kind of balance it. Um, okay, yeah, probably just over a 1,000. But, yeah, as I say, it, it, these are becoming less and less valuable to do. Unless you um, look at the fixtures and then invest, that's where profit is to be made. But uh, I've submitted that, so we move straight on to Brazil versus Argentina. Now, this one was quite difficult to do because I've tried to get the chemistry as high as I can. I only need 95, but for you guys, obviously, if you don't have these players in your club, as I keep saying, you you just won't get the chemistry that I will. So, we've got uh, five Brazilians here. The annoying thing is you need seven leagues, a minimum of seven leagues. So we've got this goalkeeper from Braga, which is Liga Nos. Uh, we've got these two centre backs who have a perfect link to each other because they're both from Besiktas. Um, there you go, Rodolfo and uh, Taliska. Oh no, Marcelo, my bad. Then on this side we've got Ismali. This is the only guy that doesn't get full chem. He gets about seven. Um, you could use Adriano there, but he's getting price fixed for about 4k, so it's just stupid. We've got Mariano on the other side who links to the La Liga argentinian that we do have the rest of the team is literally argentinian because you need five of each and then next to them we've got two boca juniors players getting perfect chemistry so uh you know even with two dead links he's still going to get nine chem and then we've got three random leagues up top so we've got camp scotia back uh bank um league the mexican league pretty much and uh the mls so we're going to submit that um and unfortunately, again, they have to be gold or else uh, I could have done that for a lot cheaper. Now, the easiest one, which also gives you the lowest amount of reward, is uh, you only need one Welsh player, one Serbian player and exactly three leagues. So I've got uh, Joe Ledley here and then just got two Palace players to link with him. So we've got uh, Campbell and uh, Zaha. And then we've got uh, the Serbian player, which is Subotic. And we've got uh, some Borussia Dortmund players to link with him. A random Bundesliga goalkeeper. Uh, we've got Bender as the centre-back. And then Guerrero, uh, uh, the Portuguese left-back for Dortmund. Right-back, we've got a German guy to link. We've got Wieser. Um, and then, literally, you can pick any league you want for this bit. And uh, I've literally went Kalsu A, so we've got Benassi there. Uh, Giaccarini on the left mid spot and then Bellotti up front so um, yeah again I don't think these are going to be price fixed too heavily let's have a quick look 
Nah, the, the, he's under a thousand sub a titch, which is quite good. And the rest of these players definitely are around a thousand. So, uh, Ledley's got a bit more of a bid because Welsh players are obviously less common because you need them. Well, do you need them to be gold? I don't think you do actually. So, could use someone else, but yeah, he's under 2k, so it's not too bad, I suppose. It, it's still well over what you should be paying, but there you go 1.2k for uh, Ledley. So, we're just going to submit that get our reward and we move on to the final one which is Nigeria versus Algeria this was very annoying for me uh, the Nigerians that I've used I've used Enyema the goalkeeper who is one of the higher rated ones but because he's so commonly packed he's extremely cheap like 1000 coins for him so very very good to use then Emenike up top and uh, he again I think is relatively cheap yeah 1000 easy and uh, the two Algerians we've got We've got this guy called Mesloub. Uh, he's got bids on him, so I presume Algerians are getting price fix, which is no surprise, because this you have to use gold players, so uh, there's not too many gold Algerians. For cheap Gulam, I guarantee he's gonna be expensive, yeah. There you go, he's like four, five K. So um, yeah, it's pretty expensive, but the rest of this team is very, very cheap. We've got this guy, Civelli. Uh, so we've got League 1 down the left hand side, so everyone gets, apart from the centre mid, everyone gets um, full chemistry. The reason this guy doesn't is because he's a cam, so if I switch him there, that'll be a bit better. Yeah, 9 cam, there you go. Okay, maybe not. If, if I were to do this, I could easily move that uh, French guy into centre mid. To be honest, what I'm going to do, see if we've got any others in the club. Um, just to make sure. Yeah, we've got two Lalonde. Do we have any centre mids that are French in this league? We do. So I'm just going to use someone else. Uh, we'll use this Didot guy, which will give him a bit less. Oh no, it gives the same chemistry. So yeah, that's a bit better. So I've basically just tried to section it off. Goulam, I've used two Napoli players. So we've got Albiol here. And uh, the CDM, we've got Jorginho. And then with Emenike, they only get uh, seven chemistry. Well, he does because he's from the Turkish league, but I've uh, linked him with Jens, who gets uh, nine chem as well. So again, unless you've pack pulled these, you're gonna have to do the no loss glitch, and uh, plenty of videos online telling you how to do the FIFA 17 no loss glitch in about 20 minutes, as I say every single video. But anyhow, submit that, that was a complete mouthful. These are a lot harder than the other marquee matchups, and um, it's been a shame, ever since week one and two, these have not been worth it for me. Like I've spent more than I've got, and you don't you don't even get a 25k pack for doing it. You just get a 7.5 for doing the entire set, which is annoying. Like couldn't they just give us a draft token? Like they did that for the first few weeks and then stopped. So uh, anyway, we're gonna open the worst packs first. So here we go: premium gold pack, no big flare, no inform, not even a rare. Fantastic. But if there's any Algerians or Nigerians or players that we need. There unfortunately isn't, uh, so I'm just going to send him to the trade pile, put everything else in my club, and open the remaining pack. So we've got another 7.5. That's going to be shit, isn't it? It's a rare at least. Atu, so utterly shite. Uh, who else do we get? Um, okay, we get a Serbian. They're not even needed, are they? No. But we'll, we'll store them in the club. We also get Steven Pinar there. So we get a left mid from both Newcastle and uh, Sunderland in the same pack. 15k pack now, that's not a walkout. It's not even a rare, not even a rare in a 15k pack. Oh my God, my pack look is so bad in these shitty packs. Right, these players might actually go for a bit, but because this video's dragging on, I'm literally just gonna store them in my club and uh, move on to the 25k packs. Now, please, please. We've got two. That's not a big flare either, is it? No. Shit flare, and we get Koulibaly, who might actually go for a bit. I've got him untradeable, so he's going to be a duplicate. Um, oh, my God. I mean, we get a Mexican who might sell because of the squad building challenge, but on to the last reward, please. Oh, it's not, it's not going to be good, is it? Oh, my God. These are becoming less and less valuable. Like every single week, I seem to get progressively worse rewards and they seem to go up in price, which is a bit annoying. Um, we've got players there who'll probably sell, but I'm just gonna store them in the club. So um, yet again, 
I don't even think there's one that's worth your time and effort. Like, you, you've got to spend roughly what the pack's worth anyway, so it's just... EA really need to work on these marquee matchups and make them valuable because at the minute, they aren't. That's just the sad truth. But anyway, hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video, and yeah, peace.